On behalf of CyberNet IQ and Kerasoft, we would like to welcome you to the third session of our Threat Hunting Masterclass, Living Off the Land with Threat Hunting, Closing the Loop on the Hunt Mission. Joe Cummins, CEO at CyberNet IQ, will round out our three-part series where we have explored the theory behind, practical uses of, and now the live performance of the Threat Hunting Mission and the Hunt Forward approach to information collection and TTP proliferation. Right away, I'm going to walk you through uh, just quickly how we get set up and how I typically like to work within my practice. And I'll share some of my trade secrets with the call. And then uh, we'll, we'll walk through each one of those different sessions and really kind of wrap up with a best practice on, on how to get set up and, and what works well with different circumstances and really kind of the motions on how we get uh, better, more tactically aware, but also how we can bring that awareness and share greater intelligence across all of our different teams. Just so everybody's on the same page, I like to bring things in, tie things in together at the forefront. So I typically will start off here. I've already brought in data sets or rather connected my data sets with my risk IQ, Shodan, virus total, and gray noise. I'm using those four here. Uh, although we have many others, I'm using a lot of third party sources just to kind of corroborate and be able to extend my own range in terms of what we see with each one of these different customer data sets and how they're actually interacting with the outside world. So not only do I want to get very good tactical awareness inside of those um, networks, I also want to be able to uh, really kind of present a layer of third-party intelligence, things that um, might not necessarily be at the forefront of each one of those customers. So really kind of be able to kind of challenge that information and, and validate it or verify that it, it does exist and it is correct. Uh, from my perspective, and again, you, you don't necessarily have to take my word for it, but what we have found in the past is that by, by having a plurality of different sources of information, and the ability to amalgamate that information into each of those specific uh, devices or subnets or, or nut blocks, et cetera, presents us with an unfair competitive advantage when we're looking at incredibly large data sets from very desperate data sources. So it could be an organization that has a very large uh, footprint online. Uh, they might have a five or six different tools that they're using internally, but being able to uh, stitch that information together or being able to consolidate that information together into a, a normalized data set really allows me as the operator to kind of level up very quickly, get very, very aware of what the network looks like faster than my peers who are, are doing it by hand. And again, not to knock anybody who's doing it by hand, but it, it is very time consuming it can become very um, difficult, especially when you're working with these incredibly dense, very heavy data centric file types that can be requiring you to, you know, be able to read the matrix almost, which can be quite challenging. I speak from firsthand experience, especially when you're looking at CSVs that can make your eyes bleed. It is uh, quite distracting, let's say. Awesome. So just going to switch gears quickly. I've got those four lined up. They're all ready to go. I got green lights on all of them. I've gone ahead and loaded up some data already. So I have this Operation Sandstorm 1. I'll look at Kanata Lakes, Sandstorm 2, and what we call Silo Breaker, which is our major work with the USDOD right now. That is really kind of how I'll round up today's talk. So just starting off quickly, Again, I was given some artifacts from a threat team. They presented this data set to me, sight unseen, with no foreknowledge of the network, a very limited understanding of what the teams were doing, how they were performing, or what their mission was. Just quickly, you know, tell us what you see. We're going to give you a data set, show us what you got kind of stuff. And the objective for them was to be able to perceive the data set in multi dimensions, meaning they, they wanted to see what was derived from their data a little bit more than what their current tool sets were uh, already. So they're a Splunk customer. They're also using a lot of VMS tools. Uh, we collected some of their Nessus scans. Uh, they gave us about eight different packet captures off of each different VLAN, about 10 gigs per packet capture. So I'm getting a pretty good cross section of what the network looks like. And then basically saying to us, you know, show us what you got kind of stuff. So again, I've already loaded up all those capture files simply for me being able to come here 
and see the canvas for the first time, it's going to give me a very basic layout of their worldview. 